Election Eve, and this is the one day where there's no early voting in person. The early voting storyline in Duval County is that it was a record-setting pace, over 55% voter turnout. What might that mean for Election Day? We're visiting with the Duval County Supervisor of Elections, Jerry Holland, this morning. Over 60% voter turnout in Clay and St. John's County. Uh, obviously, that's an ongoing storyline that we'll follow for you into Election Day and how that may impact some of those local races in St. John's County, the two taxing questions for schools, infrastructure, and increased teacher pay and the like. We're on top of that storyline. Uh, we're getting a lot of uh, feedback from state leaders on the amendments. Those two constitutional amendments that are getting the most energy, time, and resources are Amendment 3, recreational marijuana, and Amendment 4 on abortion. We're going to hear a closing message from Governor Ron DeSantis, who has been actively campaigning against both Amendment 3 and 4, using state resources here for from him this morning. And if you miss any of our conversations throughout Jacksonville's morning news, as a reminder, you can listen back in uh, full on the WOKV app and at WOKV.com. At the bottom of the page, look for the on-demand audio. We're also exploring Amendment 2, which would uh, be a constitutional protection of fishing and hunting. Uh, we're hearing from both sides of that issue throughout Jacksonville's morning news. In many states, we're seeing a record pace in early voting turnout. Uh, hearing from the experts on whether or not that may uh, be energy for any one of the presidential candidates or if it's just more people are turning out early as opposed to on election day. We're updating the election day forecast here at home. And what's developing in the tropics? What could end up being a late season hurricane? Rafael developing in the Gulf of Mexico. The early read is that it stays well west of Florida. Do you want to talk about the Jaguars at two and seven? And as disastrous as this season has been, uh, all the near misses and the close calls, they were down 22 to nothing and couldn't muster more than 50 yards of offense through the first half, almost full three quarters, before finally turning it on and kind of giving us a flirtatious sort of experience that maybe just maybe they'd pull it out in Philadelphia, only to throw a late interception by Trevor Lawrence and lose again. Back home against the Minnesota Vikings on Sunday, a very busy week and weekend, another signature weekend in Jacksonville with the return of the Greater Jacksonville Agricultural Fair. All of that and more at WOKV.com and throughout Jacksonville's morning news.